guys and welcome to vlogmas day seven so today doug and i are going to a prenatal appointment he's coming with me so yeah it should be exciting and I'll probably tell you guys what happens in my 38 week pregnancy vlog on Friday because I'm 38 weeks today and I we read something interesting online last night that basically like when they say you're full term or whatever they get a lot of women's hopes up and um, they mm -hmm. think that like the women like pregnant women think that they're gonna have their baby any day once they turn 37 weeks but did you know that they actually change the timeline for being full term I think it's starting at 39 weeks and early term is 37 38 I know we need to get rid of that box <laughs> um, But yeah, I packed us a breakfast So we're really we're up really early and we're gonna get going So I just asked myself why is my seat pushed so forward? It's because the baby seat has to fit back there. Yep, we got it strapped in into the middle I'm used to her, like leaning back a lot friend, from yeah. our friend I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah, I packed Doug and I a breakfast I, I have. Yeah, it's not done. <laughs> Peanut butter toast, which Doug did not finish, so I'm gonna eat that. Um, and berries and hard boiled eggs. Is there salt uh, for the hard boiled eggs? No, because we don't need salt. You always <laughs> put salt on hard boiled eggs. I know you do, but I'm trying not to be like. Actually, that's not true. I'm not trying really. <laughs> We're off to the doctor's appointment. To time to sit. Yeah, and coffee. Okay, leave crazy does it, it's in the middle of two lanes sweet if you guys aren't from here a leaf is a car <laughs> yeah it's a nissan leaf yeah i'm pretty sure it's called a nissan leaf everywhere though oh really yeah i have people watching from like a lot of other countries i i'm still pretty sure that a leaf is a leaf let me know if you guys have leaves in lebanon you don't know no oh god so doug and i were talking about breastfeeding and how certain things that you eat as a mother like will affect your breast milk so I've heard from a lot of people and I think my sister kind of went through this but if you have I, I mean I don't think this is true for everybody so you could correct me if I'm wrong but um, a lot of people say that if moms eat like consume any kind of dairy products that it gives their baby colic not all the time because I know there's plenty of breastfeeding moms that have dairy and their babies are fine but I've also heard a lot of times that like dairy can make your baby's stomach upset so let me know if that was the case for you guys and I was telling Doug that I think that if I couldn't have dairy it'd be fine I would lose so much weight if I didn't have dairy yeah and I wouldn't eat dairy either no cereal well actually well anyways there is something else i want to say i really don't want to consume as much dairy as i do like just in general because mm -hmm. it kind of upsets my stomach when i'm not pregnant and it for sure upsets doug's stomach we never talk about that <laughs> we don't need to but um i really want i know you guys are going to be like try almond milk try soy or silk i know soy milk silk is almond milk but I've tried all that stuff and I don't like it. So if you have any recommendations for, oh my God, my eyelash extension just went right in my eye. If you guys have any recommendations for milk that is lactose free, let us know. But I want it to taste like 2% cow's milk. So Good I don't milk. want it to taste like almond milk. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't know but that. I'm on the hunt for it because I feel like that might be a concern because milk already kind of upsets my stomach when I'm not pregnant and me breastfeeding I just have a feeling it's gonna make my baby yeah. irritable. We're in the doctor's office. Doug's freaking out because they have to swab me and that picture's freaking out too. <laughs> so we just got out of the prenatal appointment and everything went good but I'll tell you guys in my pregnancy update or else it'd just be redundant. Yeah we can't spoil it. Yeah. But, but everything's good. Yeah. And so yeah, it's only 9.30 a.m. Christmas tree farm. We got a Christmas tree. So they had to, basically in your third trimester, they make you, well, I think in your 36th, 37th week, they swab you to check for strep, whatever that is. And I'm negative for that, so I'm good. It's and then- kind of TMI, but. No, these are all women. Oh. They're all, a lot of them are pregnant. <laughs> um, and so yeah, and then today I had to like undress from the waist down. Doug was like, 
what are they gonna do? And I was like, probably check to see if I'm dilated. Mm -hmm. and he was all freaking out. And I was like, you're gonna be in the delivering room seeing a lot worse. In my head, I was like, where are those little things that she puts her legs on and they come out of the chair? Yeah. I, like, I asked Doug if he's gonna look at the baby coming out. What do you say? No, but I'm probably will. Um, the nurse at the hospital we went to for our Lamaze class, she said that everybody looks in the room because it's like super exciting and like you don't really think about how gross it is. Yeah. So I think Doug's gonna want to see the baby's head come out. I probably am. And then and you'll I'll be scarred for life. Regret it. Yeah. So Doug's making Philly cheesesteaks again for lunch. Should be pretty good. But this time, not as much garlic because last yeah. time, I swear I could not get the garlic out of my mouth for like a day. So yeah, we're gonna have that. And the doctor told me that I need to walk an hour to two hours a day. It's Which I feel like that's a lot of walking. Yeah. So we're gonna probably do that later. Doug tried to get his car smogged, his drift car smogged this morning. And the guy said it's too old that he needs special fluid for it. And Doug's all nervous because he doesn't think it's gonna pass smog. I, I just don't know if it will, is the thing. Like, with old cars, it's always a chance. And no, not just with old cars, with cars, cars that you mod. The, the thing is, though, is that there's no engine modifications to my car. Yeah. So, there's no engine modifications. It's just low and loud. So, we'll see what happens. A lot of you guys think that we're in the drift car when Doug's in, like, his little black car that we drive in. But that's actually his other car. Yeah, my other... <laughs> it's a Volkswagen car. Golf. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's not his drift car. I don't ride in the drift car while I'm pregnant. I did ride in it in like the second trimester and honestly I felt like the baby was moving around everywhere. <laughs> so right now her butt is like right up on my rib or yeah. something. I don't know. But it's very uncomfortable. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can actually see it. Oh really? But like right here is like really pronounced. And that's because like her butt is right here. Oops. And then on the other side, this is like a really weird angle, but it's kind of like flat right here. Pregnancy is the most mysterious thing. It's crazy. Um, but I feel like for my next pregnancy, I'm going to be so prepared. I'm going to know everything. Billy cheesesteak time. Doug put a ton of ketchup on the side. Yeah. Looks good. So Doug and I are going to Target. What time is it? Like four? Uh, yeah, 410. Haven't been doing anything been binge watching honestly the Real Housewives of New Jersey again it's really bad but I was gonna cut my hair today like I was gonna cut it to here but I decided against it because I'm very impulsive and I might regret it that's really what I think the issue is is I think that you'll regret it but it's already short and I'm just sick of wearing extensions oh yeah I wanted to show you guys what box dye I used for my hair because I got some questions it is the cheapest one and it's not the best, but it's the Revlon Color Stay, medium brown. Not exciting. But um, I leave it on for like just a few minutes, like eight minutes, and then I wash it out. But I would recommend the Olea one because I think it's better and I just get the medium brown one in that one. Doug's remembering to get flipping grocery bags so we don't have to carry all this stuff out with our hands. Paying off. What's paying off? Saving all these damn bags. I know. So this is how it is in LA. We always thought there's like this homeless man near us. <laughs> Doug was just saying. Um, and he's I mean, just like this old he's, man. Yeah, he's like an old homeless man. And he man. carries like a suitcase with him. Yeah, everywhere he goes. Well, up up and down our street. And then tell him what you saw. And then I saw him driving a 7 Series BMW. And we're just like. And I was like, what the? Are you serious? <laughs> I was telling Doug that everyone's mad because he said Natalie Portman. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it really isn't. If only you guys knew how Doug really is. How not, really? not in a negative way. In just like a never says anything. No. Like disrespectful to anyone ever. And I never like openly check out girls and no, tell Amy no, no. how hot I think they are. He's like the safest man alive yeah. when it comes to saying things. Yeah, really safe. It's pretty funny. But, but yeah. why were they mad about Natalie Portman? Because you're a married man. And then some girl said that the reason why guys like Natalie Portman oh, yeah. is because her face is all symmetrical. Is all symmetrical and has all the right angles. <laughs> yeah. And, I was like, and then a lot of people were saying, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. I don't. Really 
really can't, I can't really tell if someone has a symmetrical face. I can just tell if they don't have a symmetrical face. Like, I don't. My face isn't symmetrical. No, I think yours is. Um, a lot of people were saying that, this is random, but that their husbands or spouse or whatever likes Anna Kendrick. Yeah. She is an average girl. Yeah, everyone thinks they like Anna Kendrick because she's like supposed she's to be funny. She's just funny. Or whatever. Like, I mean, she's pretty, but it's not like, I don't know. I feel like some celebrities are just hyped up sometimes. Yeah, some of them are. You know? Like, if you saw them in a Target, you wouldn't be like, oh my god, that person's so beautiful. No, you know? <laughs> probably not. I'm really intrigued by the Tom's toothpaste because it's supposed to be like natural. So I just wonder if it actually works at killing bacteria. Let me know if you guys use it. This is the kind I would recommend to you guys. It's the best hair dye at the store, in my opinion. <laughs> what? I was like, why is she going I was like, hold on. <laughs> Doug and I are looking at the milks and we have no idea which dairy-free kind to get. Milk, so, milk, milk, I'm, I'm wondering about this ripple. Let me know if you guys have recommendations, but I think for now we'll have to stick with the 2%. <laughs> Just until I absolutely have to switch, if I do. I seriously feel like <laughs> there's a mention of cereal in every vlog. We're really not. I don't know why you're in this aisle. We don't even need it. Yes, we do. You wrote it down on the list. It's always on the list. <laughs> For the record, we did not get cereal just then. So I know you guys are going to ask. That's because we already have some, so. Popcorn. So wait, what's the difference between butter lovers? You want to get the one that says and butter. Movie theater butter. Movie or theater butter. butter. So I changed into my robe because it's comfy and it's the best robe of life. Um, and Doug and I are going to make quesadillas, which we usually do not make, but I don't know why it sounds so good to me. So we decided to eat in the living room so we're not complete heathens eating in the bedroom. And one of you guys were like, you need a Chromecast or something. And we actually have a Chromecast, but the only reason I like to go in the bedroom is so I can lay down on my side. Because hmm. we don't have an L-shaped couch, and it's just... It's annoying. It's like, it's annoying. I'm never doing that again. I would not recommend it. Um, so yeah, we're going to watch, what is that movie? Fantastic Beasts and the... And Where to Find Them. And Where to Find Them. And Doug made like burrito style quesadillas. These things are so big and they were so hard to flip, but they look really good. Yeah, I hope they come out okay. With some beans on the back side. Back. <laughs> so we took a break from watching the movie and it's so good. I really like it. Yeah, but I wanted good. to end the vlog just in case I fall asleep. You probably will. And I wanted to do the comment of the day. So this one's from, this one's funny, Danielle Jack. She says, I had a really weird dream that your baby came out half Asian and Doug was like, um, WTF Haley and it ended up being because you slept with a Japanese man in Japan and got pregnant. So weird. What? <laughs> I honestly wonder if our baby will look Asian and you guys probably don't think he looks Asian, but if you look at his eyes, not to be super racist or anything, it's not racist. It's a truth. It's a fact. <laughs> his eyes give it away. Sometimes. Um, and when he came out, he looked like a little fat Asian baby. I did. And I wish if I could you want a picture of there's it. a picture on my Instagram. There is? Yeah. What? I'll show you guys right now. Look uh, at, that's me. Look at that face. <laughs> and look at how and that's my dad. white I look. I, I just look it. like a regular little white baby and then there's Doug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, God. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it for today's vlog. If you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What are you doing now? I screenshotted it. Why? I don't know, but when I did, Instagram was like, you can share this post with friends. I know. <laughs> you creepy ass Instagram. I know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and we will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.